What if I told you that you could experience spatial computing without breaking the bank? Today, we're checking out the Xreal Beam Pro and the Air 2 Pro glasses. And when you combine the two, it's like having a mini computer right on your face. Stick around to see why this combo might be the future of AR. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. Before we jump in, I just wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Xreal, but trust me, you're gonna wanna hear about this because these two things, when you combine them, it's an awesome experience. So what's the big deal with these glasses? Well, they're like the Apple Vision Pro's cool cousin who's way easier on the wallet. The Beam Pro runs on Android 14, so you've got access to a ton of apps right out of the box. In this video, we're gonna unbox the glasses and the Beam Pro, set them up, and see how they work in real-world situations. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or just want to be more productive, these glasses combined with the Beam Pro are very impressive. Let's begin with the Air 2 Pro. First up, we have a very solid case that protects the glasses. Inside the case, we have the glasses themselves, a USB-C to USB-C cable with one end being slightly curved for connecting to the glasses, and then a cleaning cloth. The first thing you'll notice about the Air 2 Pro glasses is just how light they are. We're talking just 75 grams. The design is pretty sleek, I've gotta say. It's very similar to the non-Pro model, which is great since they don't look too crazy if you're wearing them out in public. You know, like years ago when you wore AR glasses and you stepped outside, people were gonna look at you crazy. You can adjust the Air 2 Pro to pretty much fit any head. Xreal includes interchangeable nose pads and it also has adjustable temple angles for comfort and fit. Now onto the Beam Pro. At first glance, you might think that it's a smartphone. It's about the size of a 6.5 inch phone. It's running Android 14 with a custom launcher called Nebula OS, which unlocks the AR capabilities of Air 2 Pro. One thing I really appreciate about the Beam Pro is just how solid it feels. Despite being pretty lightweight, it doesn't feel cheap by any means. Plus it has this cool black and white color scheme with the red accent button that reminds me of the old school Google Nexus devices back in the day. The Beam Pro has two USB-C ports, one for connecting to the glasses and another for charging. The screen will serve as a built-in trackpad with pointer functions, which should make navigating the AR interface a breeze depending on if you're used to this type of thing. Here's where things get really interesting. The Beam Pro has dual 50 megapixel cameras spaced 50 millimeters apart. Why does this matter? Well, it's designed to capture 3D or spatial photos and videos that match what your eyes could see. Pretty cool, right? We'll have to see just how good it is later in the video. Although it is a bit difficult to show you guys exactly what I'm seeing through the glasses. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. The build quality seems solid, the design is sleek, and there are some really thoughtful features here. But of course, the real test is how they perform in real world use. So let's move on and see what these bad boys can actually do. First up, the Beam Pro. This little powerhouse is running on a Snapdragon 6450 Spatial Companion processor. Now I know that this might sound like a mouthful, but basically it means that this thing is built to handle all of your AR needs without breaking a sweat. You get options for six or eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. And if that's not enough, there's even a micro SD card slot on board for all of my millennials out there. The screen on the Beam Pro is a 6.5 inch LCD touchscreen with a 1080 by 2400 pixel resolution. But you'll rarely be using this screen. Instead, you should be using the Air 2 Pro glasses. When connected together, the Beam Pro can output a 90 hertz spatial screen, which looks beautiful. The glasses themselves also pack a plethora of features. They've got Sony micro OLED displays that can pump out 1080p resolution at 120 hertz to each eye. The Xreal Air 2 Pro also has comfort enhancements with features like two Rhineland certified eye comfort and low blue light technology. The glasses even have electrochromic dimming with three different levels, clear, 35% dimmed, and 100% dimmed. This allows you to darken your surroundings without the need of the cover. Although I would still keep it nearby since it's useful for protecting the glasses and for super bright environments, like if you go to the beach or something like that. Setting everything up is super easy. First, connect the glasses to the Beam Pro with the USB-C cable and boom. Nebula OS launches automatically on the glasses. You'll see this cool spatial UI with apps laid out in a honeycomb pattern. It's like your apps are almost floating in space right in front of you. Remember how I said there's no smartphone required? Well, the Beam Pro is like having a supercharged smartphone that's built specifically for AR. You've got access to millions of apps from the Google Play Store. Want to watch YouTube? Go for it. 
Netflix? Yep. Gmail? It's there, right at your fingertips. You can resize your screen and switch between viewing modes. First, we have the traditional smooth follow mode where the screen follows your head movements. But with the press of the little red button on the side of the Beam Pro, you can instantly switch to body anchor mode where the screen will be pinned to the same direction that your head is facing. So when you move your head, the screen remains in its position. The tracking is really good. If you need to recenter or adjust the screen, just hold down that red button. And if you want to switch it back to smooth follow mode, just tap it again. But that's just scratching the surface. Remember those dual 50 megapixel cameras on the Beam Pro? Well, once connected to the Air 2 Pro glasses, you can view any and all spatial content that you've taken with the Beam Pro. And honestly, it's pretty damn impressive. The best way that I can describe it, it's like stepping into your own memories and strangely reliving that moment. If you want to take it up a notch, you can even import spatial videos you've recorded on a compatible iPhone or even a Vision Pro by transferring the files over to the Beam Pro. It's such a weird experience since it's unfamiliar, but really cool at the same time. There's also this really cool section inside the gallery called Space Memory Album. It basically allows you to view your photos in like a 3D environment. So as you spin around, the photos are actually circling around you as well. It's really hard to demonstrate in this video, but it is very, very immersive and a really cool experience. And let's not forget about multitasking. You can run two AR apps at the same time. The Beam Pro supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 for fast, reliable connections. All right, so we've talked about the specs. We've gotten everything set up. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's see what these glasses and the Beam Pro can do when you use them together. And let me tell you, I was really excited to put these things through their paces. If you're like me and you're always jumping between your phone and your computer, this feature is a game changer. I tried out some apps from the Play Store that let me control my Mac and Windows desktops using the glasses in almost like an AR spatial environment. But it's not perfect. Some of the apps I tried were Duet and Chrome Desktop Control. But I mean, come on. It's not all work and no play when you have glasses like this. Let me tell you about the gaming experience. The Beam Pro supports game streaming services like Xbox Cloud Gaming. I fired up a game and I gotta say, it was a lot of fun. You could also disconnect the Air 2 Pro glasses from the Beam Pro and use them on portable consoles like the Stream Deck or to your gaming laptop, MacBook, or even certain tablets. All right, so now let's talk about content creation. Disconnecting the Air 2 Pro glasses and plugging them into my MacBook for editing in Resolve or Final Cut Pro is a killer experience. Thanks to the electrochromic dimming, I can still see my environment slightly to maintain awareness while also busting out an edit on a plane, at a coffee shop, or even at home. If you've never tried to edit a video using AR glasses, you definitely gotta give it a shot. It's an interesting experience to say the least. One last thing I wanna mention is the real-time anti-shake technology. Xreal's put in some fancy EIS real-time spatial stabilization algorithms to keep everything stable. There's no more feeling dizzy or disoriented when you're in the AR space or viewing spatial photos and videos with the Air 2 Pro glasses. Let's talk about how the Xreal Air 2 Pro and Beam Pro stack up against the big players like Apple Vision Pro. First off, the price. The Air 2 Pro retails for $449 and the Beam Pro starts at $199 for 128GB of storage. That's a huge win for anyone that wants to try spatial computing without breaking their bank. And on top of all that, the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses combined with the Beam Pro is significantly lighter and more portable versus the Apple Vision Pro. And this is going to be a big deal to a lot of people out there. But the Xreal setup doesn't have all the fancy features of the Vision Pro, like advanced hand tracking, a 4K display, an insanely powerful processor, and let's be real, the AR app ecosystem isn't as polished yet either. Regardless of any possible flaws or limitations, I think this is a big step towards making AR more accessible for everyone. As the tech gets better and cheaper, we might see more people using AR in their daily lives. This brings me to my question for you guys. Do you see a future where we get rid of our smartphones and rely more on smart glasses or perhaps smart contacts to stay connected? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in learning more about the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses and the Beam Pro, links and possible discount codes can be found in the description as well as the pinned comment. If Xreal sends over those discounts, I'll make sure to leave them where you can see them. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It does help out the channel. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.